Greetings, my name is Stephen E. Long, a disabled veteran, 100%, and I am attempting to get in the primary caregiver program. Baby, what's that called? PCAFC. PCAFC program. I have received three denial letters. I have also received two clinical review denial letters, and I currently have a supplemental claim that has been pending for a year that has been pending for a year and still has not been assigned. I send you this video as well as the documents attached to this email that me and my wife have spent countless hours compiling. My last clinical review, my wife spent days compiling a 27 page letter that pointed out in my records all of the reasons why that I need to be in this program. I have seizures, I have Parkinsonism, I have essential tremors, I have mild cognitive impairment, I have syncope, and you can see all the conditions that I am currently diagnosed with in the problems list which I attach to this email. We have been run around in circles. We have been pointed to websites that aren't helpful. We have received canned answers from the leadership of the Little Rock VA caregiver program. There has been incompetence by the people that submit the information to seat, which in my wife's letter, she has pointed this out. In the documents that we submitted, they are highlighted as well as a deficiency. Look, we know how to file a clinical review. We know how to file a higher level appeal. We know how to appeal to the board, but we should not have to because my case should have been approved based on the evidence if the VA wouldn't have failed on their duty to assist. I am asking you, no, I am pleading with you to please have a face-to-face -face or virtual meeting with the following, Senator Bozeman's office, Senator Cotton's office, Congressman Bruce Westerman's office, the head of the national, and I'll repeat that again in case you don't hear me, the national caregiver program, the leadership at the Little Rock VA of the caregiver program as well as the Secretary of Veterans Affairs. I don't need your pity. I am not asking for anything that I have not earned. You say that you honor and you appreciate veterans. Well, to this veteran and his wife, you have shut the front door over and over again. I have gone one step further. Despite my Parkinism, I am still able to write with the help of voice to text. I can no longer hold a pen and write a love letter to my wife. I don't know if you understand that, but I wrote, created, and directed the VA 
TV show. And I will be pointing out stories for veterans that can't speak up of their experiences with the patheticness that you call the VA. I'm angry. I am scared. And you should be ashamed. Please reply to this email or call my wife at 501-276-1618. Let's do something instead of just talking.